Hey, JNM here with a video about new features of my FastSculpt add-on, which work nicely together with additions in Blender 2.81 for Sculpt mode. Now you can find the tools Move, Scale, Rotate and Transform in Sculpt mode, so we don't have to leave the Sculpt mode to transform objects. As you might know, a feature of my FastSculpt add-on is to add objects to the scene while you are in Sculpt mode by pressing a shortcut key, this is at the moment Ctrl, Shift and A. I choose a torus now, as the primitive that I would like to add, and also enable align to face orientation. This means when I hover now with the cursor over this area and press Ctrl, Shift and A, a torus primitive will be added at this location and it is rotated in the direction of the face that we hit with the mouse cursor. I go to edit mode now and scale it down, but basically I could have used the scale tool in sculpt mode now as well. Let's have a look at this. The torus is the active object. Then I select the transform tool and have the orientation set to local. You could also select the move, transform or scale tool, but the transform tool combines these features. And here you can see I can scale the object, I can move it around or rotate it using the gizmo. After that I use the remesher which is new in Blender 2.81. And now we can go ahead and sculpt this new object because the poly count is high enough after remeshing. If you want to combine then the new object with the head, you select the head as the target and then you just have to press the button Bool Union. This again takes a while, but after that you have one object and you can continue your sculpting process. Ok, now let's do this for an object that I already prepared. It's a simple mesh, I don't know the word for this, I called it Pike. And I want to add it aligned to the head multiple times. So I align the head like this, then I select Scene for the type of the object that I want to add, and then pick this object. And again I hover with the mouse cursor over the point where I want to add the object and press Ctrl, Shift and A. And as you can see this is very simple and we can do this in Sculpt mode. The origin of the objects, their pivot point, is used to set their location. But if you want to move the objects more into the target, so that you don't have any gaps if you want to union the objects later on, you can use now the transform tool to do this in object or in sculpt mode. Ok, my goal is now to union these objects and the head, so I move this object a bit more into the head. Then I select all the objects and that's a bit annoying, you can see that the last one seems to be in sculpt mode, so I have to switch to object mode again, then press Ctrl and J to join these objects. Ok, once these objects are joined, I can select the head as the target of a bool union operation and press bool union and this takes a while, but then you have a unioned remeshed object, with that you can continue your sculpting workflow. Ok, looks pretty nice, now I select the new draw sharp brush, and sculpt in more details. So guys, I'm pretty sure you want to know how this is implemented, so let's have a look again at the Python code. Here is the add operator class and in the invoke method, which is called when the operator is <laughs> invoked, I get the view direction and origin from the 2D mouse position in 3D, then also the 3D location of the mouse cursor and I initialize the rotation that I want to use for the added object to zero. Ok, now I do a ray cast to check if I hit an object with the mouse cursor in my scene. If this is true, I set the location for the object to be added to the hit location and after that I check if the object should be aligned to the face that we hit. This is stored in the scene property Align to Face and can be set by the checkbox Align to Face Orientation. Then I call the method Rotation Difference 
of the vector class and then to Euler to use Euler angles. Yes, it is pronounced like that. Trust me, Euler was from Switzerland. Now that we have the location and the rotation that we want to use for the object to be added, we can use these as parameters for the functions to add the primitives. Or if we want to add a scene object, we can assign the variables lock and rot to the properties location and rotation Euler of the new object. Okay, this was the logic to align objects to faces. The next feature that I will implement is adding objects at the position of the mouse cursor by clicking like that. This means I will turn the operator into a kind of insert brush. If you like the add-on, go to my GitHub page. The link is added to the description and get it for free. If you have any issues or feature wishes, you can create these on this page as well. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, add your questions to the comments below and I see you in the next one.